ओम श्री साई राम प्रशांति संदेश साई पर्ल्स ऑफ विजडम वेलकम्स यू वी आर सो ग्लैड दैट दिस सीरीज आर फॉलोड बाय ऑल आवर पार्टिसिपेंट्स एंड हैव बीन ईगरली अवेटिंग for the next episode thanks swami and all our participants bhagwan baba has shown many of the miracles even before his birth and later it is all wonder of wonders of miracles but it was on 23rd may 1940 he declared for the first time that is sai baba to prove this he asked for a handful of fresh jasmine flowers and threw them on the ground miraculously they formed the word sai baba in telugu alphabet even prior to this incidents thousands of years ago the sages bhrugu vasishta and shuka have recorded about the advent of the triple incarnation of shirdi sai sachcha sai and prem sai this has been written on thala patra or papyrus leaves p a p y r u s in sanskrit language after the proclamation of his avatarhood bhagwan sri satsai baba has shown us through many leelas that he was shirdi sai in his earlier incarnation sardama a lady devotee who had a good fortune of spending some time in the presence of shirdi avatar spent the later period of a of her life in the divine presence of such a sai avatar shrimati hirabai badotkar shri pandurange dikshit's mother received blessings from both the avatars this saw many similarities in the two forms in the manner of speaking facial expressions and the method of performing miracles as well well this is a story from the times prior to the establishment of dharmakshetra once during a visit to mumbai swami was residing at sri modi's bungalow in andheri one morning he called sri and shrimati panduranga dikshit to the bungalow for an interview Accordingly the couple reached there early in the morning but Swami did not call them till 3 afternoon till 3 both husband and wife kept waiting under the staircase without having taken any food finally at 3 Swami walked down the staircase and on seeing them said oh diksha how was your fast today is thursday is good good to fast what a tapas it is come in and grant an interview and spoke to them for an hour and towards the end swami suddenly said i want to see the documentary you have filmed on shirdi sai go and bring it it was at that time dikshit was making a documentary film on shirdi sai this our bhagwan baba wants to see so he commanded him to bring it and show it to him obeying swami's directive mr dikshit immediately left for the office where the film was being processed in fact this film had been given 
for processing just two days. Prior and Mr. Dixit knew that it would take at least eight to ten days for it to get ready. But with faith in Sai and in obedience to his word, Sri Dixit reached the office. As he entered the premises, he saw a pew carrying two large boxes over his shoulders. These boxes contained the reels of the documentary on Shirdi Sai. It seems the film was processed through a new method, hence it was ready in two days. <clears throat> well, Sri Dixit rushed back to the Modi bungalow with those boxes. Swami had invited a few select devotees. Sri Dixit garlanded Swami and started the film with his permission. As each scene flashed on the screen, Swami would describe it in great detail. On seeing the statue of the horse, Shyam Sundar, Swami said he was a cook by name Shyam in his earlier birth. Later, he was born as a horse. Sai named him Shyam Sundar. While commenting on Sai's portrait in Dwarka Mahi, he said, Kaka Jekar kept persuading me to grant him permission to do this portrait. So I had to sit in front of him for two whole days. In this manner, Swami described every scene in detail. After the document got over, Swami said, Do you know why I saw this film today? I saw the film and celebrated my birthday today. Everyone present there was surprised by this comment because Swami's birthday falls on 23rd November and the date on this particular day was 28th September. How could this be? Swami immediately cleared the doubt. He said, not mine, but of my earlier body. From this incident, it is very clear. There is no difference whatsoever between these two incarnations. To date, Swami has never visited Shirdi in his physical form. But the way he described each and every detail while seeing the documentary, doubts if any about the oneness of these two incarnations get dispelled. As you know, Shankara means Shem, all that is auspicious. Kara means the bestower, the one who gives you. God bestows bliss and prosperity upon us. That's the meaning of Shankara. <coughs> Sai is Shankara incarnate. Since childhood, Sachinarayana, our Baba, had a habit of drawing a horizontal line of vibhuti on his forehead. He used to tell his elder sister to put a big dot of kumkum in between the lines of vibhuti. If the vibhuti or kumkum got wiped out, Baba would insist on applying it again. But everyone realized its significance much later. That vibhuti symbolizes Shiva and kumkum symbolizes Shakti. So Baba is Shiva Shakti. Later, in 1940, at the Virupaksha temple in Hampi, Bhagavan Baba gave a vision of his form in place of Sivalingam and revealed for the first time that he and Virupaksha were one and the same. When the foundation work of the Prashanti Mandir commenced, many bases which support Sivalingam were found underground. Someone asked Baba, where are these Sivalingams? Baba smiled and pointed towards his stomach. None really understood the meaning of this gesture at that time. But when Lingod Baba started, it started naturally. Mahasivaratri, the mystery was cleared. Shiva loves Vibhuti. The Divine Father Shiva smears 
vibhuti all over his body so he is also known as vibhuti bhushana in the shirdi incarnation sai created the burning fire through his yogic powers and lit akhanda dhuni the eternal fire he used to distribute the udhi from this fire as prasad today bhagwan sri sat sai baba materializes the sacred eternal vibhuti and gives it to his devotees well here is one more story about shankar rupa of bhagwan sri sat sai baba there was a devout couple who were very sad because they had no issue the lady undertook several penance and worship of guru dattatreya and was able to secure his grace those who knew about her wish insisted that she should seek blessings of some realized souls and accept a guru but the lady had resolved in her mind that unless she got verily the vision of god himself in a guru she would not accept him as a master one saras ben became seriously ill and had to be hospitalized at the time she said say gave her darshan in a dream and called them both to puttaparthi when the couple reached there swami called them for an interview in the first interview itself he gave her darshan in the form of shankara with the crescent moon on his forehead ganga falling from his head and vibhuti smeared all over the body this sai shankara then filled their life with so much of joy that it left no place for any sadness or regret with darshan of sai shankara all our sins get washed washed away and getting his charan sparsha bagiradha undertook severe penance and brought ganga down to earth from the heavens the powerful force of its waters would have flooded the earth so bhagwan shiva shankar held her in his hair and later she started flowing on earth in a regulated manner to bless us all all the people rejoiced today sai shankar has undertaken sri sat sai drinking water project all over india and has given happiness to all the people with the ganga of grace see really the leelas are mysterious ununderstandable ununderstandable but still is a matter of sadhana to uh, recall those leelas to go through those leelas and share them with our friends this is a story dates back 60 years an educated young man came to vasai near bombay maharashtra he came with the intention of securing a job in the field of education at the time vasai was a mere village this young man was shri mahadevo mangesh pinge shri mahadevo mangesh pinge he took up a job as a school teacher in those days the salary of a teacher was very low in such a situation the entire family including himself co- contracted malaria their health suffered a great deal so they left vasai and moved to dadar they managed to get a two room tenement but their financial condition remained unstable the earlier tenant had left behind two photographs on the wall one of gurudev dattatreya and the other one shirdi sai baba shri pinge started gardening and worshiping both the photographs although he did not know much about shirdi sai baba one day unexpectedly a fakir came to his door and asked him for dakshina 
amounting to a rupee and quarter. At the time, Sri Pinge was not in a position to pay the amount, so he kept two anas on his fakir's palm. In those days, even two anas was considerable amount. The fakir took the coins and touched them to Shinge's forehead and then to his own forehead. Then he closed his fist tightly and asked Sri Pinge to cup his palm. Water tickled from the fakir's closed fist and it fell into Shinge's palm. Mrs. Pinge was observing everything from the house and as the fakir asked Pinge to drink up the water, she came out and said, What are you doing? Don't drink that water. But by then, Pinge had already gulped it down. Suddenly, the fakir did something most unexpected. He took out of his intestines, yes, from the mouth, and kept those warm intestines on Sri Pinge's hand. Instantly, he restored them back in his body, through his mouth. On seeing this, Sri and Srimadhi Pinge were really frightened. It's very difficult to imagine Sridi Baba bringing out into signs and taking them back. Not an ordinary thing. By the time they recovered their wits, the fakir had gone away. The fakir left and Sri Pinge noticed the similarity between the fakir and the photograph of Sridi Sai and he realized that he was Sai Nath. He set out in search of him, but could not trace him anywhere. However, one thing happened. From that day, they were cured of malaria, and their financial condition started improving. Sri Pinge started tutorial classes, and in a short time, Pinge's tutorials became well known all over Maharashtra, and they prospered greatly. Sri Sainath used to say, just like one ties a string on a sparrow's feet and pulls her to oneself, I search out and select the people whom I like and pull them towards me. See that. Sri Pinge was a noble soul, so Sainath blessed him by giving darshan in Shirdi Sai form and improved his health and helped him to prosper. In 1964, Sri Satsai also blessed Pinge. He granted him the honor to perform Bhumu Puja ceremony of his ashram in Mumbai. Swami also graced the Silver Jubilee celebrations of Pinge's classes with his divine presence and showered his love and grace on his noble devotee and his endeavors. May Bhagwan blesses all. Sairam, we meet later.